What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, come and subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you'll be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys my computer setup, my workstation, whatever you want to call it, the gaming setup, whatever you want to call it, I will be showing you guys that today. And how I set it up, I will be showing you all the pieces I bought. And I will be showing you how you can set up something for yourself, man, and stay on the budget. So, before we jump into this video, I want to let you know I will have all the parts to everything I bought in the description below. So, if you like what you finna see, go ahead and click them links below and get some stuff for yourself. So, without further ado, let's jump right to the video. Now that I'm finished giving you guys a slow B-roll of the whole setup, let's start talking about the pieces I use to put this together, man. So let's jump right into it. As far as my monitors, all you gotta do is go to Walmart, bro, and find you the cheapest TVs you can find, bro. Like, so basically I find like the cheapest TVs I can find that was small, I think they like, 20 inch or 22 inch and you can see I got one that's different from these two brands I tried to go the same brand all the way through but only they only had two of these and one of these so I said man let me go ahead and get it like this and I paid like I say like 75 for the displays so they were cheap you know what I'm saying you ain't gotta Especially if you're not using your monitors to play games like mostly I use my monitors to like watch YouTube And then I look at what I'm drawing right here and then I draw onto my tablet And I know y'all want to know what tablet I use. It's called a UG art tablet and I just draw right onto the stream with my pen I'm going to be in it so y'all can see See Come with it like a stylus and you draw right onto the stream. So that's what I draw on. Also, to hold these things up, I ordered this long extension pole right here off of Amazon. It only comes with one, but it came with the two arms where the whole two monitors. And then what you do is you squeeze these things tight and they'll clamp onto your desk. You feel me? And then I bought an extra one so I can hang another monitor above. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy another arm separately. Cause they like, when you wanna add an arm, I think it's like $13. It's gonna be in the link below, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna buy another arm in like a couple days. And what it's gonna do is gonna come out and I'm gonna stick a light to it. So this big old light right here, I'm gonna get like a LED strip and I'm gonna stick a light to it. What I use to hide my wires, because at first I had this long extension port where I plugged all my stuff up, but it was like cords everywhere. What I use to hide my wires is some tape. I'm gonna have that down below too. I'm telling you, this is the strongest tape I ever done used, man. I think it's like some type of gorilla junk. I got this junk on my finger, bro, and I thought it would never come off. My nail's super dirty too, it's cool. Look, I use some tape, some zip ties, and some Velcro strips. 
So I put the Velcro strips on some cords that I knew I was going to upgrade, you know what I'm saying? So it'd be easy to take off. Now when I take off the zip ties, I'm going to have to cut them. What I did was I bought a brand new power supply. And just like that tape I was telling you about, I got that tape and I ran like four strips under this. And as soon as you hold it for 10 seconds, it's like it'll combine with whatever you sticking it to, bro. And it, it's real, it's there, bro. Like, this is the toughest. I ain't even know they made tape like that. That tape can probably hold up a goddamn person, bro. Like, if you stick them to the wall, no exaggeration. But look, that's what I did to hide all my cords. Imagine all this junk, if it was all on the floor, it'll look so messy, bro. And then it's another little thing I bought too, as far as I told you, I got the, uh, I got the tape, I got the zip cords, what you call them? I think they, yeah, zip or whatever you call them. This, I just forgot the name, that's quick. Zip ties. I got the tape and zip ties. And then I bought this, this really came in handy. They like sticky things too as well. But what you get to do, you get to run your cord through it. Watch this, like I'm finna unclamp this. Like it's, so you get to run cords through it and you get to clamp them in. So I just bought a lot of those to hold my cords up. And also, my light was having problems sticking cause I was doing kind of turns and stuff so the sticky thing would stop sticking. So I just went ahead and clamped a route for it. So it won't fall down. I know it don't look perfect, but it look better than it did. And you ain't gotta worry about nobody ever seeing this unless people gonna be sitting under your desk. See, it look crazy right now. But look, from this angle, yeah. You feel me? So that's what I use for that. And then, last but not least, I bought this little podcast on. This is my uh, regular stand. Don't worry about this. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I just sat that there. Sometimes I record my face when I'm shooting videos for you guys. But this for another video. All right, look. I, just like that extra arm I was telling you about, I bought an extra arm right here. And what I'm using it for it's my little podcast mic stand. So what I did, I bought an extra arm. The arm is meant to hold a TV, but I'm using it to hold different things. You know what I'm saying? So I took the little TV part. I took this part out the front of the arm. And I clamped my podcast mic stand to it. And I got this off Amazon as well. I just found the cheap one, bro. Cause to me they all do they all serve the same purpose bro so you ain't got to get the most expensive and as you can see i got my mic going through it this probably costs more than everything over here but you don't need this mic you know what i'm saying you can find you a cheap mic a cheap usb mic to connect see so so basically as y'all can see if you type this brand in on Amazon, you see how cheap it is, bro. Just find you some cheap displays. You feel me? It ain't gotta be perfect. Cause I've been using these for quite some time now. If you playing games, that's a different story. You don't wanna get you a gaming monitor, but I'm mainly doing digital art and stuff like that, so it don't matter to me. I'ma upgrade in the future, but what I'm trying to say, if you're trying to go the cheap route, cause I truly went the cheap route, but you can see it, it look very nice. And, that pretty much it, my bad. You feel me? My favorite thing about this whole setup is it got them this, bro. Look at this shit. Dog, I got those. I got them dang switches, bro. Look at it. That's not crazy, dog. I can jack it up like way. Like I can stand up. Basically, what I did when I was working on this whole setup, I just jacked my this up as high as it can go. 
so I can get under. Yeah, man, but you know what I'm saying? Just listen, son, man. Just listen, son. The next time y'all see this though, bro, it probably look totally different because I just realized I had so much fun just doing this. It took me all day to put it together. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm really ain't no technical dude. I'm an artist. So I ain't gotta do all this, but I did it. You feel? But I had a lot of fun making it. So I will be doing a lot of technical stuff soon. And as far as these posters, your boy will be having posters for sale soon. So for all my fans, all my supporters, the creative game, everybody who just want to have my art so they can decorate their whole crib with my stuff, man, I will have posters for sale soon. I've been working on it, working on a lot of designs for it. And I think I'm going to sell it for like... We're gonna sell a lot of posters for like $20, you know what I'm saying? I want people to be able to collect my work. So, soon you will be able to fill your whole crib up with my art. And the first thing I'm gonna do once I get everything together, I'm gonna fill my crib up with my art so you can just get an example of how it's gonna look. You know what I'm saying? I love this mat, but the only thing about it, bro, don't get the color black, bro. Them things get dirty, bro. It's like they they made to collect dust, bro. Like, I got to sweep this thing every day. So, if you get you a mat, make sure you get you, like, a different color mat where you can't really see the dirt and shit like that in the dust. But other than that, man, there go my setup. It look nice. Without an expensive price. So make sure you go get your stuff right. Make sure you stay tuned more. He comes soon. I might be beat.